Hi, today I want to show you how to use uh, your 23andMe raw data to interpret your health uh, information. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that in November 2013, the Food and Drug Administration sent 23andMe a warning letter telling them to stop marketing uh, their product as uh, health related and di health diagnostic related specifically. <clears throat> Uh, because of concerns about uh, patients, uh, excuse me, customers doing things with their their information uh, irrationally, like uh, getting uh, preemptive surgery and things like that. Um, so 23andMe.com, in response, um, stopped providing health uh, interpretation for their customers. But I don't think a lot of people realize is that 23andMe is still collecting the health-related data and still providing that health-related data to their customers. So you can go into your account, 23andMe.com, and you can download your own raw data and then take it to other websites uh, and interpret it for yourself. And I just want to show you how to do that. Okay, so I've, I've logged into 23andMe.com, and I want to, if you're here and you have an account, you go to your profile, you go to Browse Raw Data, then um, once you're on this window, you can see uh, your chromosomes, all 23 of your chromosomes um, and your mitochondrial DNA. And, but I want you to download the data. So they have a security feature here. Once you click download up there by your okay, browser raw data, download. Once you click that, it has you re-enter your password. And then uh, you want to download your own data, all DNA, download data. <clears throat> They're generating it. It's about a five megabyte file, and it takes about uh, 10 seconds to download. And <clears throat> once you download it, you just uh, double click it and save it wherever you want. I would save it, you know, a couple different places because this is your information, and hopefully 23andMe will be up for a long time. But if you want, you could print this out. I mean, it'd probably print out on hundreds and hundreds of pages because you've almost got a million SNPs called in this file. But uh, okay, so there, the uh, it's downloaded. And I'm going to open up the file now, it's unzipping the file. And then it'll save as a .txt file. So once you open that .txt file, it's going to look something like this. So basically, it's a list. It's a list of single nucleotide polymorphisms that have been called off your uh, genetic information. And so it lists them uh, in order on chromosome 1. So here we've got the RS and then a number. So this is reference SNP and then whatever number is associated with that reference SNP, um, which is searchable on Google and then what your calls are. So these letters over here correspond to the uh, uh, nucleic acids that were read from your specific uh, genome. So, <clears throat> for example, this first uh, reference SNP, 12564807, uh, my alleles are, I got an A from mom and an A from dad. Now, I can't tell you which one came from your mom or your dad. You'd have to have your, your parents do, do the 23andMe data collection as well. Um, to know for sure. But now I want, I want to show you a web resource. So we're pretty much done with the 23andMe.com website. And so we go to, well, let's just file, open a new window. Okay. So now I just found this recently, this really cool, helpful website. I have no involvement with this website at all, but it's the best website I've found so far. That doesn't mean that there won't be more that are opening up in the future, but it's called SNPedia or snippedia.com. So if you go to the home page, it will show you uh, a list of the most popular SNPs that are being talked about. Um, and then, but you can also search for individual SNPs. So you have, if you have a question about obesity risk or diabetes or alcoholism, or if you're going to have Huntington's disease, or if you have HIV resistance, you can just search those things and then find the specific SNPs that, um, that any science has been done on them at all. So I think this is interesting um, to go to eye color. Okay, so I have blue eyes, and so this reference SNP 12913832 for blue eye color, and if you have the GG, you have blue eye color. So let me just take this SNP reference 
snip number, copy. Now, when you come back to your text edit file, all you do is go to edit, find, or you can hit uh, command F, and it'll bring up this text, uh, the, the, the find box. Just paste in the reference snip number that we just looked for, and boom, there it goes. So this is on chromosome 15, a SNP on chromosome 15, and my allele are, are GG, and that makes sense because I have blue eyes, and the GG genotype is associated with blue eyes. So <clears throat> you can do this for all the known SNPs. The reason I'm showing you how to do this rather than directing you to one of the other websites that will give you a, a report is that this video can be now applied in the future, you know, back to SNPedia, which is this growing, evolving resource. And so anytime you have a question uh, about your um, genetic predisposition to this, that, or whatever, um, just come to this Snipedia website, and search for your question, and see what science has to tell us about that specific SNP. Now the thing to keep in mind is that if you find something that's good or bad, uh, more I'm talking about things that are bad, um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to develop whatever disease it is that that gene's associated with. All it means is that you have a higher likelihood or a lower likelihood of developing that. And, you know, anytime you find any medical information in here, yeah, if you want to do something about it, really um, talk to your doctor about it and have it verified as well, because this is um, something that's done as a direct consumer uh, product by 23andMe. And I just wanted to show you this so that, you know, you have the power to kind of look look for yourself and see, see your own genetic information, which I think is what a lot of open access people are, are rallying for around this, um, the 23andMe controversy. So thanks for tuning in, and my name is Christopher Height, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, in the comment section below. I'll also leave a link. If you haven't done 23andMe and you're interested in interpreting your own uh, genetic data. I highly recommend doing 23andMe. I'll leave a link to 23andMe that I'd like you to use uh, underneath the video. And yeah, happy snipping.